Uh, good Friday, YouTube modeling community. Uh, this is Rusty Rotor uh, with a bench update uh, and a uh, few other quick things. So, first we'll start off with uh, Happy Father's Day to everybody this Sunday. Uh, you single mothers, uh, you know, Happy Father's Day to you. You know, if the, if the father's not present, happy Father's Day to you, too. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful weekend here. Uh, I live in northern Kentucky, so the weather's going to be like in the 70s, low 80s, uh, which is nice compared to the way it has been the past few days. Uh, my daughter is out of town, so I'll have to uh, redo Father's Day Monday when she gets back in town. Uh, and then I have two sons, so all of them are grown. So I don't know what the plans are yet, but I know we always do something on Father's Day. Uh, secondly, thank you to all you out there. You guys are making this channel grow really fast. Uh, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, the views have been extra above the top. You know, I, I really appreciate it and keep it coming. Uh, it's what's going to help make this channel bigger and better. Uh, I've got some, like I said, some things down down the pipe that uh, I'm trying to work on and uh, finalize for this channel uh, kind of benefit you know everybody uh, and help the channel grow too so uh, I'll, I'll have more on that in the next week or two uh, uh, the two things are on my bench the 60 slash 66 uh, C10 and the gray stain you know jump over to Instagram if you have it look up the gray stang just like that the gray stang uh the gentleman's name is gee it's g-e-e -E. uh you'll be able to see all the real footage of the car uh videos he has on there and shows he's taking it to uh it's a beautiful car uh you know it's not the typical car that you know the genre i build in but the first time i saw it i was like holy crap you know that's that is a really cool mustang you know especially for you know the first generation of them it's the 66 but uh you know he's made some modifications to the body um, of course the engine uh, the interior is cut all fully custom so it's a beautiful car you know if you get a chance give it a check him out i will i'm trying to work on some editing things where i can use an editor so i can drop all these links and you know have some pictures flash up here and you know make it easier on you guys uh, but right now just bear with me uh, we are working on that and uh, with some help of some friends, my wife, uh, that are more tech savvy than me. Uh, so, uh, what else? Oh, a commission build that has not left the shop yet. Uh, the gentleman is on his honeymoon. Uh, I wasn't aware of that. You know, we don't keep in everyday contact with each other. Uh, but he did notify me and said it was going to be a few weeks and that was a couple weeks ago, so I got about a week left, maybe, or less, with this in my shop. I wasn't going to do a video, but I figured I'll, I'll squeeze it into here. So, let's uh, let's get started. Let me turn you around. Uh, the 66 is all in final primer. It has been wet sanded. Uh, this is Splash uh, 1K Light Gray. There is, first coat was probably about one, maybe two coats of primer before I did final body work. Then I had to do more body work. So the final coat, there's about five coats, total of six, maybe seven even, of primer on there. Now, I didn't have to worry so much about detail because I shaved all the fender emblems, the door handles, uh, everything's been mocked up. The mirror fits in there good where I relocated it. Gas cap fits good. Uh, the engine fits in there well. I've got all my holes drilled that I need to run all my hoses and brake lines out of the master cylinder, so on and so forth. Uh, I have my little antenna here. I will let me get down the angle I can see. There we go. Somebody was asking me about those. To me, it looks like if you're like me, born on a budget, that is a guitar string that they took some of the coil off of it. I don't know which chord it is, but or letter of string. Uh, I do use piano wire and guitar string. 
Uh, but I never thought of that. And you know, he left the uh, center wire exposed and left some of the coil and it looks like an old school antenna. I paid for these, uh, but I think I'm gonna try to make some and see how they turn out. Just for my own, because now that I use it on this one, I'm thinking about using it for several others. Uh, in the bed, let me take this antenna back off so I don't lose it. I only have two of them. Turn this around here. Like I said, here's the bumpers. They're all in, uh, oops. They're all in final primer as well. I stripped all the chrome off of them. Uh, Re-etched the Chevrolet letters. They weren't, they weren't very deep to begin with, but by the time it's done painted, and then I, I, they're gonna be in yellow, so by the time I'm done, it'll be, I'm not worried about the primer missing. Down in the bed, you'll notice the two wires coming up here. Those are to feed the external, bat or the rear battery that controls all the uh, air ride. Uh, if you look real close in there, and when I flip it over, you'll see better. Uh, each one of the bolts on the cover and the hog head have been, you know, photo etched nut heads put over those just to give it detail and you can kind of really see that brake line now running across the differential to each caliper uh, I don't have the engine in it today uh, but this was primarily to show you we'll get up here let me stand it up that might work better there we go you can kind of see all the each little molded in bolt I put a photo etch you know bolt head on top of it just to make the detail pop on both sides of it uh, we start up here, the battery cables run through the frame, right there, to go to the front battery, which will keep that back battery charged. They run down the side of the frame, I drilled through it <coughs> all the way, it's just got to have the clamps added, and uh, I'll wait pr almost to final assembly before I put all those on, because taking it apart, putting it back together, it, I don't want to, you know, pull on the wires. But you can see they kind of they'll go up through the bed there and feed that back battery. <coughs> Sorry, I got dry throat today. Mm. So, you know, if you guys like this, you know, this kind of content, you know, let me know down in the comments. Uh, you know, give me a sub, a like. Uh, my Down in the description, I always have my email so you can, you know, Send me an email if you like and comment there. Uh, I do have shop cards to trade. Uh, so, you know, I'll trade a card for a sticker. It don't matter to me. Card for card, card for sticker. I don't have stickers. Uh, so, next time around when I order new cards, I will, I'm will. i looking into getting stickers made then. So, I'll keep you posted on that. But without further ado, let's get to the, the roof. Now, this is just rough. I used a piece of uh, sheet styrene, traced out the roof up here, and got the exact dimensions. And I just started drawing and adding some design. None of this is permanent. I have not sold on it yet. <coughs> Excuse me. So, kind of gives you an idea, though, what I'm going for. Uh, I might, in these uh, little areas right here, I'm thinking about maybe doing a lace pattern. Uh, and then the rest of it striping and then some maybe some back shadowing off of some stuff it's stuff I did years and years and years and years ago I have not done anything like that since so uh, this is gonna be my template that I will practice on before I lay anything down on that roof because <clears throat> I'm once I'm at this stage <clears throat> excuse me once I'm at this stage uh, I don't like to do anything new or come up with something new and add to it, unless it's just a detail part. As far as changing the paint, I, you know, I'm too far into it. So it is ready for base color, uh, which will be black. And then uh, where the masks will be for the flames and this all this work will be silver, which is mainly the whole upper cab. Let me... There we go. Get up there a little bit. <clears throat> you know, so primarily right along that windshield trim line all the way across that door and around the back of the cab. Same way on this side. 
from there up will be silver and then of course it will be the primary flame color and then two or three other colors will get used on this but all shades of green green greenish yellow to green uh, first colors are these are all tropical glitz uh, I paid for all these so anybody's curious you know I'm sure everybody's familiar with them uh, the silver will be galactic silver that'll be the second coat after the base coat and then this is my uh, primary flame color so the, all the flames and that whole roof of that truck will get painted with this other than some of the masking that I'll be doing for the design and then this will be the fade color it is cilantro or emerald green I'm sorry and then I have cilantro to go down for the fade and then the other ones will be a uh, Createx colors that'll be going over top of that uh, you can do the Createx over top of these I would not do these over top of the Createx uh, I've not tried it but you know this is lacquer that's a water base so you know you can do water base over anything just don't want to do lacquer over water base uh, so you know there's gonna be some experimenting here and I'm gonna bring you guys along for it you'll see what I'm doing now I showed you the interior color I mean it's you know it's a shade of green it looks a little wild right now but I think uh, I can mix this down a little bit with some other stuff and uh, get the shade I'm looking for it is an acrylic so you know like I said I like to use acrylics on my uh, interiors so enough about the truck uh, it is coming along uh, like I said I thank you guys for all the comments on it uh, the likes on it this is the gray stang this is a uh, give me a second here and I'll look at the box Let's see if it says I'll bring it over here uh, you can kind of see this is the kit I'm working with it's upside, upside down I'm sorry guys but it's filled with stuff uh, it's the 1966 Ford Mustang it's an AMT kit AMT Ertl I'm trying to find the year uh, that this kit came out some of these show it, some of them don't uh, let's see 1989 so that's when this kit came out I have two of these only because uh, just in case he wants me to actually build this for him this one is for me so I was going to open the doors but I decided not to my my primary details will be underneath the hood and of course the wheels and tires and then the trunk so I opened the trunk but primarily all I got is a few panels left to get made and in place and then my hinge made so the trunk will open and close uh, I'm waiting on some magnets to come now uh, pick this up you can kind of see uh, if you ever go to his Instagram page you'll see pictures from a car show where the trunks open it, it's all custom in the trunk uh, the battery is back here so this will also have an optimal battery back here uh, it won't have one up front uh, this has a uh, newer Fox body Mustang, you know, 5.0 engine in it, and it's supercharged. It's a belt-driven supercharger, uh, not like the typical blower uh, top mount. This is a uh, front mount uh, supercharger. Uh, so I'm waiting on that part. It's being made for me. So that's going to hold this build up a little bit too. But like I said, I'm not in a rush for this one as I am the truck and some other projects I have. But that's pretty much where I'm at on that one right now. Uh, the bodywork is finaled. Uh, I deleted all the uh, grills in here. Uh, I deleted the emblems because the, the only emblem is the new badging for the engine. And I keep losing focus. There we go. Uh, and those were 3D printed for me by uh, Ryan Jones at Z Force Model Works. Uh, so they're one off and they're teeny tiny. I hope I don't lose them putting them on. He didn't give me a lot of extras. Uh, so give me a second and I'll let you look at And uh, I'll get this uh, last, one of my last commission builds that I'm going to do probably for about a year or so. Uh, like I said, I want to focus on my own work and some other stuff. Like I said, I got to come down the works. 
uh, I want to be able to have time to do that and, you know, show you guys these builds as I'm going. Next uh, Wednesday is still, uh, I'm going to add two builds instead of the one. Uh, the one is the first one I did five years ago to get back into the hobby. And then the other one is one I built for an online contest in a pro division, and I won. I won first place. So um, I'm super proud of that. That one will be featured in a magazine sometime, hopefully this year. Uh, from what I understand and have been told, it'll be my first one in a magazine. Uh, it's one of my self-goals on my bucket list, so to speak, of things I wanted to achieve by getting back into the hobby was to actually compete this time around, uh, which I've done a little bit, and to get one or more of my builds in magazines. Uh, I mean, that's the ultimate trophy is, you know, your, your little model car in a, a magazine. And the whole world gets to see it. So give me just a second, and we'll set this up here, and we'll go over it real quick, and then uh, we can all go with our daily routines. All right. All right. This is an original release. I think it was a Reveller monogram. Uh, 1956 Chevy Bel Air. Now... It has the Del Rey stuff on it only because I shaved all the upper chrome off of it and then I added in little tiny pieces of styrene to finish out the grid here and bring it down to give the Del Rey look on the trim. Uh, and I had re this was a paint bomb, glue bomb, but as you can see, this gentleman uh, has cancer and I guess through his life he liked building models. And that was his uh, release for things. And he just built them to have fun. Nothing, you know. When this, when I got this thing, it was purple. And it had big wheels and tires on it, all jacked up in the back. Engine sticking through the hood. So I had to buy, you know, parts to put it back to stock. So I got the uh, stock hood. New glass for it. Uh, new emblems. It is painted in OEM. Circa 50s Chevy Red. Uh, it has two tone interior. It is also of the same era. Uh, hand painted detail. There's not a lot uh, as far as aftermarket stuff. It's just bone stock. Uh, but both colors were custom mixed for me. And we'll get the hood open here. It's been sitting for a while. Let me grab something here. There we go. All right, here we go. Sticking. All right, and it shows you the engine. And I did do some battery detail and ran plugs and wires. An aftermarket distributor. Uh, I went with gray wires. I saw one in line that the engine detail it had gray wiring on, so I was like, and, you know, it probably had black. I just I put the gray in it just add a little difference of color, a little pop underneath the hood. Uh, decals are were added where they're supposed to be, so you know, it turned out nice. Uh, I like this a lot better than I did his version, but you know, this was done for his family. And uh, so they had, you know, something to remember him by. And I was honored to do both builds. One was a 57. Uh, that is on my Instagram page. If you scroll through there, you'll see all the uh, builds that I've done in the past. And I will eventually get links. Like I said, I'll put down my description. So it makes it easier on you to go find this stuff. But uh, a lot of you know or follow me on Instagram as it is. So, uh, so this is just, you know, something they hired me to do for a couple of his most, you know, the ones he liked the best, or he thought a gentleman, a friend of mine that had me do this, uh, would like the best. And uh, the gentleman that was given, these were given to, hired me to restore them. And he is going to, when the gentleman passes, uh, donate one to the family, and then one to his own mother, which is best friends with this gentleman, and have been for years. So she has a little piece of him, so to speak. Uh, to remember him by. Uh, 
you know, they, I took my time on them. Uh, I actually paint foobard on this one. I had to strip it again. Uh, but, you know, I kept plugging away at it and it, uh, it turned out super nice. So I hope you guys like it. Like I said, I'd, simple body mod to turn it from a Bel Air to a Del Rey. Uh, kept everything else basically Bel Air. Uh, and then, you know, put the stock tires and wheels back on it. New glass. Uh, got a different hood. Uh, put, you know, the emblems back. You know, the line yards. But it turned out really good. Underneath is just detail painted. Nothing extravagant. Just my the way I do my exhaust. I added the chrome tips. Uh, this was done in white primer. As you can see, flipping upside down, there's some of it exposed. Uh, it was done in light gray. And then my final coat was a uh, a white primer. Uh, then I, I painted it white, and then uh, masked off, and then did the red. Uh, it's been, you know, color sanded, polished out, uh, the whole nine yards. So it's got a super nice shine on it. Get it down here. It's just I'm not going to show much on this, but you can see some of the reflection off of it, especially on the roof. And it's super smooth. I mean, it's, you know, one of, the, one of the next ones closest to perfect paint jobs that I've put out. And uh, I am proud of it, so. Uh, get my hand out of the way. There we go. Uh, and again, I thank you guys. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, you know, please subscribe. Uh, figure this stupid phone out here. I did get my phone fixed. Uh, and it was human error, of course. I figured it would be. Uh, and uh, the GoPro, I'm waiting on one part for that, which is the little piece of equipment to upload the videos to my laptop. Uh, so probably after this weekend, I want to do a quick video uh, using the GoPro and get familiar with it more. But I am switching from this uh, Galaxy 21 to a uh, GoPro 4. Uh, I've invested a lot of money in it and the equipment for it. So I got to make use of it. Um, Monday, mail call, uh, mental Monday. Like I said before, it is going to be the complete opposite of Purist. Uh, it is... I, I consider it a genre because, A, the car is a genre or style of car. Uh, my method that puts me in the category of the complete opposite, uh, I'm going to explain, you know, translate my version, what the way I think about it. Uh, doesn't mean you have to, you have to do it my way. Just, it's just, you know, where my brain goes when I, I pick a build, choose a build and so on and so forth. Uh, I've gotten a lot of shop cards in can't wait to show you guys uh, and I'm waiting on a couple other things to come in uh, via the mail that I've ordered a few weeks ago uh, and like I said you know there's there's some big things coming to this channel uh, you guys stay tuned uh, I think you guys are gonna be really happy uh, like I said it shows in all, all the comments you guys give me so you know be honest with me you know just just don't be just don't be rude, you know. I, I I like all kinds of criticism, as long as it's constructive. I, I'm my own worst enemy. I I can show you where every one of my flaws are, and uh, it's it's just you know I I don't need to hear it again. I mean it's it's one thing if I took it to a show and a judge pointed something out and this is why you lost. I I, I get that, uh, and I, you know, but I don't put myself out there that much. You know, this is a big step for me to do it on here. Uh, and basically in two weeks, I've grown twice the amount of comments and likes than I, I have in five, almost six years on Instagram. Uh, subscribers are a lot lower, but I expect that to happen. But, uh, you know, spread the word. Uh, you know, most of you say you like it, so uh, I'm, I'm going to run with that. And uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, I got a lot of work laying around here and, you know, a, a lot in my display case to show you guys. Uh, I want it to last, so I'm going to try to, after next week, bring it, bring it down to just one model a week and bring the time of the video down. Uh, 
if that if that sounds good to you guys you know give, let me know down in the comments yay or nay uh you want the long video comment yay uh that you like it uh this channel will do a giveaway uh i'm not decided yet if it's gonna be 500 or a thousand probably at a thousand and uh just to kind of throw some you know get some feedback from you guys uh it will be a model kit uh a sealed model kit uh, I probably will choose the kit uh, I will give the winner it'll be one full winner I will give that person a choice of paint sealed paint not opened uh, either via splash or uh, gravity uh, I do have an abundance of it and, it, and it's, it's things I'm not gonna get to use and I'd rather somebody get to use it uh, before it goes bad uh, and a collection of stuff that I've found over time to save money on parts. So I haven't I haven't finalized what all will be included, but it'll be pretty much everything to detail your kit. And you get to build it your way. I'm not going to tell you how to build it or anything else. But I'm going to give you the stuff it takes to paint the model other than primer. You'll have to, whatever primer you want to use. But you'll have the paint. And you'll have a lot of detailing stuff to dress it up. So it'll give you an opportunity to try using the stuff I'm always talking about on here uh, in your model. Uh, if this sounds good to everybody, you know, like I said, but let me know down in the comments. Uh, it's not written in stone yet. Uh, a thousand subscribers is a long way away. Uh, and I'm not done thinking of ideas to put into it. So it's going to be a pretty big prize. Uh, I will pay for the shipping. Uh, it will be only here in the continental United States uh, for this one until things change with the mail and the price of things, hopefully, because I'm still on a budget. So uh, I can afford to do within the United States uh, <coughs> right now. Uh, that that could be subject to change. Uh, but I just kind of throwing some feelers out there. Uh, I want it to be special because you guys have made this special for me. Uh, and, and that, that is primarily the only reason uh, I do enter giveaways. And, you know, I like that sometimes. But, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm giving you stuff. It's a gift every every time. So, uh, you know, I, don't, I'm not, I won't do a lot of giveaways uh, for specific things or events that's happened or whatever comes upon this channel. Uh, that That is likely to change, too. But as of right now, you know, I'm... I'm kind of setting the goals to a thousand uh, instead of doing 500 and then a thousand. I'm close. I'm more close to 500 than I am to a thousand, and uh, I need some more time to put some more thought into it. So we're going, we're going to set it at a thousand. So you know, faster the word gets spread around and the, the subs go up, uh, the faster this is going to happen, and I'll I'll just have to work that much faster to figure it all out. But as of right now, it will be a kit sealed of my choice. I don't have a lot that are sealed. <laughs> I get them, I open them, I play with them, you know, I go through them. Uh, but I do have a few that are sealed. Uh, it will be even a possibility of a set of tires and wheels. Uh, I'm not for sure on that yet. i got to go through my inventory and see what I have. Uh, and a lot of detailing stuff to, you know, dress your model up. Uh, or, you know, I could just, you know, give you a model and, you know, and you don't have to use this stuff on that model. I'm just giving it to you. So, because I want to see what you do with it, you know. So, please, whoever the winner is when it comes time, you know, post your post your progress. Or send me pics in my email uh, of, of your progress on it. And if you have any questions, just, you know, reach out and I'll help you through it. Uh, but I want to see it. You know, I want to see the progress on it. Uh, it's kind of exciting to me. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, pay it forward, so to speak. I've had a lot of that done for me uh, and getting this YouTube set up and everything you see all around me here, not to make you dizzy, you know, a lot of that was pay it forward. Uh, a lot of trading, a lot of purchasing for me over more than just five years. Uh, so I always said it, you know, what I have, you know, you can have it, it, as long as I can, you know, part with it. And, you know, I, I'm not in short demand of it or 
you know, anything like that, you know, if you guys need something, seatbelt material, you know, I'd be glad to cut off a little of the seatbelt material and send it to you through the mail, you know, on me. I'm, I'm not, you know, like I said before, I'm not greedy, I'm not stingy. Uh, I, I know what it's like to, you know, want to, man, I wish I could do seatbelts, but I just can't afford to buy the kit, you know, that's 7 or $8. Well, you know, you're going to have to to get the hardware. Unless you're really, really good with a knife and you can cut it out of styrene, which I've done. And I've used zip tie heads for the, the buckles. There's a hundred different things you can do. But I'll be glad to send you the the, the, the ribbon that I use. Uh, I'll send you both colors so you can choose what you want to do. Uh, spark plug wires or the detailing wires, I'll send you, you know, you know whatever, 10, 12 inches of each color. Uh you guys just got to let me know down in the comments or via uh, an email. So, like I said, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Uh, you guys have a safe and a joyful Father's Day with your family. Uh, I'll be doing the same. Uh, there is a uh, buddy video coming down the road here. Hopefully in the next few days or week or so, as soon as I can get Big Will over here. Uh, we've been kind of planning this for a while. Uh and then uh, I'm, I'm glad to communicate with anybody out there on YouTube uh, of my experiences, you know, my likes, my dislikes, uh, anything. So you just got to let me know, be it down in the comments or send me an email uh, and, you know, we can make it happen. I've got right now nothing but time. So uh, I'll, I'll squeeze it in somewhere. This video is right at 31 minutes. So, guys, we're going to kill it here and... Uh, Till Monday, like I said I got a lot, a lot of stuff to show you Monday. Uh, we'll still try to hold that right in around a 15 minute video. And uh, we'll see you then. Peace.